Where is your rot? Your buddings? Do you grow? Do you wither? No. No, no. A lifeless beast are you, but no. For you die and die. Not lifeless. Let's take a moment. If you guys recognize the island of Nern, you can see, off in the distance, a fortress. Now, we're not going to go that way today. We're actually going to go in a completely different direction because today we are going to talk about Karnan. And, uh, well, let's start up with the karnan -ness, shall we? Bring it up on the map and let's listen to the first little bit of, uh, I guess, narration to hear. Yeah, so this is actually one of the story missions that's available when we arrive in sort of the second act. Um, and we start to open up the world, meet and introduce some new characters. We must go to the forest of <coughs> And some people got to get books. Something oh, talking to me. Not all calls should be answered, Talion. Sorry, probably more. Okay, there um, we go. <laughs> and yeah, some people actually got to get their hands on this and actually play it at right. E3, which was as really as fun as well. So it's the, the mission that introduces one of our new characters. Um, we've also got another story mission over the land, which was one of the Elkaria ones. Ooh. But the thing we're really excited about with introducing Karnan is a couple of things. Uh, one, that it's this new character, and mm -hmm. it's really, she's a representation of one of the big themes that we see right. in Tolkien. So if you think of whether it's Tom Bombadil as this spirit of nature that they encounter on oh, their Tom. way to Rivendell, right. or um, their old Treebeard plays who's you know so mm -hmm. fundamental um, in Lord of the Rings, right. or Bjorn and his role. So these different spirits of nature that are in opposition to the forces of evil, but right. also always generally neutral. They're not taking one side or the other. Um, but for us, we're thinking, what would that force of nature and that spirit of nature look like if it was trapped within Mordor, within the land of right. shadow, within this kind of darker and more evil location? And, mm. and that's what we really wanted to explore in this character. Oh, so that's super exciting. <laughs> sort of a Mordor Tom Bombadil is probably the closest mm -hmm. analogy. I, I like it. Now, before we start everything, I see a lot of requests for subtitles. Are we do are our subtitles in now? Like, can we if we put on subtitles, yeah. will they work in the cinematics? Like, yes. Cool. Okay. Yeah. Do you want me to pull it away for a second so they just see us? Or I'll just take a second. Okay. Cool. So subtitles, we'll put those on for you guys. I see you're asking those questions. Uh, cocaine juice. That's <laughs> a question. Yeah. So you intrigue me. Um, which? Oh, interesting. Should work. It's not a question. It was completely <laughs> different stuff. I just loved the name. Mm. All right, so we put on subtitles. This should work now. And uh, let's go ahead and start Violent Nature. Strange music draws you to the forest of Nernan. It is time to answer its call. Just, as we just heard from Celebrimbor a second ago. Doesn't want you to answer its yep. call. So stop That's calling answer. nature. Stop calling nature. Put nature to voicemail. Block <laughs> nature. <laughs> Subtitles working. What creature haunts this forest? Oh, Karnan is no creature. She is nature itself. She calls us. Talion, we must move with great caution. Uh, Andy! Uh, and me! Uh. And another spirit of nature that was a little bit of an influence. Oh. Finish the job! Here. So it's really important to us to have oh, different hand. tones and this variation. Right. Have some well. mercy, Ranger. Don't leave me like this. What has happened here? Dominate him, and you will have the truth. Cut me free, Ranger. I have loot. She's picking us off one by one. That beasts come hundred strong. Get out here and show yourself. Pit to peak, enslave our rivers and trees. I take it this is the work of Khan. This is the forest of Khanan, and she will protect it with the full power of nature. I think there was a comment right when you were about to blow up his head, Ellie. He's like, no, he has loot! <laughs> as much as life. The two are bound together. 
That is Kana. She's actually in control of all the elements of nature through the What are the orcs center. doing here? They are doing Sauron's work. All the elements? So the creatures. <laughs> saying that she has control of the elements of this entire forest? Yes, so we've got, we can get through, it's inhabited by the Karagors that we can see there, and they're not going to attack us unless we attack them. Right. But they will turn on the, the orcs and the Ologs. Uh -huh. So she's really, basically this area of Mordor is using the power of nature to hold back the forces of Sauron. Oh, that's but awesome. But it's dangerous for us as well. Right. Hey, Ellie. There's a little bit of polish that's really fun with that root that was like making the archway yeah. behind us. You want to demonstrate that? Yeah, yeah, do that real quick. It's just a fun little uh, like, oh, you can do that that you showed me yesterday. So I wanted to demonstrate that it's like just little polish like that. <laughs> so you can just go under it. Like it's we it's not something that you have to jump over. It's it's an item that you can slip through. We got a mic mo volume increase request. Up you go. I just love this forest as well, just the variety of different environments we can have now. Mm -hmm. we lose talk, we'll, we'll fight our way out and, and then settle our differences. In here, in here we're just food! Come on! I found it! The tree! She's the tree! Spirit of Karnan is tree and beast. Find and law, root and spear. Well, that wasn't there before. I love that moment. Yeah, so that's now exposed the, the real heart of this forest. Right. Uh, can <laughs> Moving trees. Seen the leaves come together like that? Oh, oh yeah. Ooh. We have a 
fire. That was effective. Yeah. Do we yeah. have a fire bow on right now? I guess I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I guess I do. <laughs> Just the right thing to bring to a fight against nature. That's well. That's really cool to see how like the element also added to taking out this guy. I, uh, I hadn't even thought of trying it. And the fire starting to spread through this foliage as well. Oh yeah. Careful where you step, Ellie. But she's not finished, so she can take the form of all these different creatures within the, the forest. Um, and actually, what we're just introducing at this point in the game is, as well as that, as well as Kanan, we have elemental Graug. So we have all these different and diverse environments. So we have right. the lava fields in Gorgoroth, and we have the forests here, and we have the, the snow up in Saragos. Mm -hmm. um, and the rare, the kind of elite Graugs and giants in each of those regions have their own elemental attacks. So they can uh -huh. be breathing fire or throwing lava or ice. Breath. So it's just another kind of level up to the monsters and creatures you'll be fighting, and of course, dominating and riding around and right. rooting against our. Well, there's a picture of a ground breathing fire in one of our uh, screenshots we released, so yep. now is a good opportunity for meeting another one. Oh, here it comes. Ooh. And she's able to actually combine the effects of fire and the uh, sort of poison in right. her attacks as well. I believe we've, uh, we showed we showed you that too with E3, so now we have a, not just Sally being able to do it, but other creatures. Well, here it comes. Oh, oh, oh. Ow. Down. Ellie, your people want to let you know that you're doing amazing. Always appreciate <laughs> When a Tinder date goes wrong, that's the mission, apparently. Be careful, Tinder is mortal. Murder. Mortar. Got him. Right in the eye. Oh, that's beautiful. It was only close to shoot. I love the Kana and Drake. This is the one that's in our statue in the Mithril edition as well. Right, right. One does not reason with the Oh, if you can hit that fireball. Oh! It's tough. It is tough. I remember. Oh, um, nice. Uh, it's going to take a couple more headshots for sure. So I see a comment, someone was just like, isn't that a spoiler when we mentioned about the statue? It's like, we actually, the story trailer showed the Karnan Drakes flying into the Balrog as well. Yeah, so I mean, it is a little spoiler in the sense that she is going to ultimately ally with us and help right. us, so um, it's kind of our homage to Bjorn in The Hobbit, like, just think that was so amazing the way they met him. We've got this creature that's transforming, you know, right, right. There, and then ultimately in the Battle of Five Armies. Incredible ally. Right. It's cool to see the effect of poison and fire at the yep. same time with shaking the screen. It's not as cool when it's uh, hitting you. <laughs> well, it looks cool. Yeah. Woo! She got him. The five headshots. Oh, Ooh. into the build or the building. Yes, mortar filled with skyscrapers. Well, it seems this Karnan isn't as powerful. <laughs> I love that every time. What have we unleashed? The cry of the forests. The scream of the rivers. Great spirit of Khan. See so cry and clamor. You have woken Torgorot. Cracked and creviced until now. I opened the Dark Lord. He stood. Burn you, burn.
burn we. A fire for all it will be. What have we awoken? Undead! Ringmaker, your forge sings. A crack across the land. Fire woken by a cold metal ring. We hear your call. Allow us to help. Yes, you will. Find Tor Gorov. Go now. Your Balrog waits. He rises in doom shadow. Fight till death and rise again. You will fight. Soon and soon. Death will defeat us. So, there's, there's gonna be a little bit more talking right after we do the mission complete. Should we, do you wanna, like, it basically is them talking about the last conversation. Should we move on to that as well? Sure. Cool. It seems this ring has woken more than Sauron. Yes, we must go to Gorgoroth and deal with this Balrog. Boom. There we go. Cool. All right, go ahead. You can go ahead and hit pause. Let me bring how much are you willing to sacrifice? To suffer. I have given up everything. Not everything. My lord, we have located the new ring. Send the Nazgul. All of them. I know what you fear, Tony. The ring can enslave the minds of men. We must hold to our purpose, no matter what the cost. I will not let them be slaughtered like my brothers at the Black Gate. We need to build our army. This is just the beginning. Saron will not stop until all of Middle Earth is dominated. We do not serve the Dark Lord! We will take this land for our own! You fight for Mordor! You fight for the Bright Lord! new devilry is this? I come for you, Towns of Gondor! Try not to kill him too quickly. New ring. Our ring. It's not marred with his shadow. It is perfect. I struck down Corrupted by these rings. Do not become one of them. When the time comes, I will do what is needed. Submit to your destiny. Fight to your master! And give him this message! I come for him! to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. Die! I'll kill you! Until this moment, you have not known suffering. Oh, 
quite enough of your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you. For all these orcs to see. Always said you were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. I'm exactly the same way. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mike DePlata, VP of Creative at Monolith Productions. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced the Nemesis system, creating unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the Nemesis system enormously. Two of the new features we're most excited about are forging an army of followers and Nemesis fortresses. Our goal right now is to use the Ring of Power and recruit this Olog, Bruce the Chopper, to expand our army. Then we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. Reckon you're going to skewer me? Ah, that little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're going to need more than that to take me down. Nice one, Ranger! This has never happened to me before. Dark Lord. Same thing, really. End results me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No one gets to you without my say-so. Don't worry about my enemies. They will all follow eventually. You want to plant your flag in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it deep. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a mountain and deadly smart, which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take him down, you'll send a message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. Gather your troops. We'll do. Oh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? We already had a few loyal followers in our army, like Boobol the Undaunted and Az Tamo Rockskull. Recruiting Bruce means we're ready to assault the fortress and overthrow the Overlord. We're expanding the open world of Mordor to highlight some lesser-known regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Mordor is a massive, living, breathing world filled with orc society, tribes, wildlife, as well as stories and secrets. You cleave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together, stronger than ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. You did. You created the machine. No! We just got ambushed by the machine. He's cheated death and tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's from one of the seven orc tribes we've added to the Nemesis system. The machine will grind you to paint! I hate big things! Cool, finally! Instead of killing the machine, we're going to dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities alongside drakes, grogs, and other beasts during the fortress assault. There are millions of ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor. I add you to my ranks! I swear my allegiance! Before we charge headfirst into the assault, we should plan our attack. 
This overlord and his war chiefs bring poison spouts to the fight, but Bruce is bringing sappers with him to counter those defenses. We've selected our followers, and now we'll start the assault. <laughs> My black speech is a little rusty. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess, he said you're all gonna die horribly. Yeah, my kind of black. Well, I will handle the Overlord. You focus on the defenders. Define focus. ways to forge your story and conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. Thank you very much.